why did that happen to me? Have you ever asked that? Why did that happen to me? I know a lot of people have. Well, I'm going to talk to you about that today. I'm Evie with Happily Even After, and I help you live your very best life even after yours has fallen apart or you think yours has fallen apart. Maybe you just discovered your spouse is having an affair. Maybe your spouse just served you with divorce papers. Maybe you've experienced the death of a loved one, someone really close to you. Maybe you just got fired from your job. There, there's, and I could go on for a million more things that could have happened to you, that may have happened to you, that you may be experiencing right now, and it's uncomfortable, and it hurts, um, you don't understand it, it doesn't make sense, and you're questioning why. I understand, I've been there. I have been there. If you haven't heard my story, go back and watch some of the others where I tell my story. But um, the good news is that thing that happened, it doesn't last forever. It may feel like it. It may seem like it, but it doesn't. It doesn't last forever. Um, and what I want to say if I could sum it up in one thing and that be it. In my opinion, it did not happen to you. It happened for you. Yeah. I don't know your story. I don't know your situation. But from what I do know and what I've studied, what I've read about, what I've lived through, the things that happen in our lives can, if we choose to let them, deliver a gift, teach us a lesson, bring us something that we couldn't have gotten any other way. And so, if you're right in the middle of it, this is probably going to be hard to hear and understand. And I, I get that. Um, but I want to say it to you anyway, because when I was in the middle of um, a separation, my husband had left. The only thing that I could think, I just had one, one thought. <laughs> this marriage has to work. This marriage will work. There is no other way. But I was wrong. I was wrong. It wasn't the only way it could be. The marriage did not work. And thank goodness it didn't. And now that I'm far enough past, I can say that. I can say it with all honesty, with all conviction, with all happiness. And so I'm here to give you hope today that whatever situation you're in, it won't last forever. There is light at the end of the dark, dark tunnel. And even more than that, it didn't happen to you. It happened for you. And it brought with it a gift. But you have to look for the gift. So I would love to connect with you. You can click the link below. You can connect with me on all forms of social media. Um, and in the comments, let me know if you have gotten past a thing, an issue, a problem, a hurt, a pain, a trauma, and you now see the gift. Because people who are watching this and they're in the middle of their hurt and their pain and they can't see that good could come from it, it's hard. But maybe if they hear your story and you share with us, then they'll help it'll help them to understand, okay, good can come from this. So I want to share just a bit about mine. I, like I said, I thought only that marriage could work. There was no other option. There was no other plan. There was no, it couldn't be any other way. It had to be that I stayed married to him and we worked it out. Now, I made this all up in my mind. As a little girl, I wanted happily ever after. I wanted 
I didn't want a divorce and I did everything that I knew to do to make my marriage work. But one person cannot make a two person marriage work. It can't. And so he left. And when I realized he wasn't coming back to stay, he would come back, <laughs> but he had her over there. When I realized it wasn't going to work and um, he was never going to change, stop doing that. Um, and I got a divorce and I moved forward. And there's a lot in here that I'm not telling in this particular story. You can go watch some of my other videos. Um, I wrote my story about my separation and divorce in a chapter in a book. And you can read that. That's in my in the link down below. I think it's free or three dollars something, something simple. Um, but now that I'm past the divorce and I see there's life on the other side and I want to encourage you that if you think that man or that woman, that spouse is the only person on the planet that is there in this world for you, it's not true. Now, I'm not saying that you have to date or get married after. You are a wonderful human being on your own and all alone, and you can conquer the whole entire world all by yourself. So I'm not saying that you have to find someone else. Not at all. Not at all. I think I know you are equipped with everything you need to become all you need to become on your own. For me personally, I just didn't think I could love someone else. I didn't think I could ever hold someone else's hand or kiss someone. And I was wrong. I was wrong. But here's the good part of that, the even better part of that. When I began dating, the guy that I date now and begin dating, he suited me better than my husband. He is a builder. And I love what he does. I could get interested in his projects. And not only that, an opportunity came for me to buy some land in a vacation spot and, I, and to build a rental cabin. Y'all, if I would still be married, first of all, my husband would still be having affairs because he still is. He still is. And um, I would have never been able to buy rental property um, because I wouldn't have had anything to do with it. But because I date this guy and because he's a builder, I could buy rental property. And then I was just going to buy rental property and just have the property. And then, and then maybe years down the road build. Well, it came that where I could get a loan and build, build a cabin. And so none of that would have been possible if I would have stayed with my ex-husband and the other thing is I have stuff in common with my new guy and my ex-husband never he didn't put time into me he had other things he always had other things that were more important than me and more important than our family always always but I had just learned to cope with it and just deal with it it doesn't have to be that way. What are you coping with? What are you dealing with? What are you allowing? Because you think you have to stay stuck. I was allowing a whole bunch of junk because I thought I had to. Nobody told me that it was me. In fact, nobody told me to stay. Nobody, nobody. When he left me for years, I stayed and hoped and wished and prayed and believed and thought and just knew that he would come back and we lived happily ever after. It just didn't happen that way. But now I live happily even after he left me and I live better than I would have before. And I've made investments that I never would have been able to make. And now I own property and my, the value has gone up. Like lots of great things have happened. And I can't, I'm not going to tell all of it here because I'm already too, too much past time. But here's what I want to say. 
things are not happening to you, they're happening for you, you have to change the way you're looking at it. Is it painful? Does it hurt? Does it suck? Is it awful? Yes, for a time. But there is light at the end of the dark, dark tunnel. And whatever is happening right now, it will pass. Focus forward. I have a vision board course. I have private coaching, group coaching. I have all kinds of ways you can connect with me and I can help you move forward to live your very best life. I promise. So connect with me down below. Leave a comment if you've already gotten past something and you already see the gift in it because there is a gift in every problem, but you have to look for it because what you look for, you find. Thank you all for watching. Follow me, please. And if you know somebody who needs this, pass it on to them so they can benefit from it. Uh, hit the like button and go watch some of my other videos. Be blessed with gratitude. Evie, bye.